Researchers at the University of Arizona are making a big contribution to the fight against COVID-19. Nine on your side's Megan Meyer joins us live to share how a recent study could lead to new treatment of the most severe COVID cases. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Lydia. Well, it's crazy to look back about a year and a half ago when we didn't know much at all about COVID-19. Of course, that's all changed now, thanks to scientists right here in Tucson. A year and a half ago, it, it was apparent to me that we had some really sophisticated tools that could contribute to our understanding of this disease. Inside a lab at the University of Arizona's Bio5 Institute, students aren't just preparing for their future, but making groundbreaking discoveries about COVID-19 and the effect it has on the human body. We got blood samples from people without COVID or mild or severe and people who had succumbed to the disease. These samples came from patients at Banner University. These instruments can measure thousands of molecules. Professor Floyd Chilton and his students studied them throughout the last year and a half. We were able to see distinct patterns in those people who died from the disease and one set of patterns indicated that there was an enzyme that appeared to be highly associated with those people who died. Chilton says this enzyme looks a lot like the active ingredient in snake venom. At low concentrations, it protects the body from infection, but when there's too much of it, it causes the body to shut down. In the end, we have postulated that it's putting the vital organs out of their misery and, and leading to death. The U of A is now sharing this finding with health organizations around the world. Chilton says the discovery could help in a clinical trial to treat some of the most serious COVID patients. We can begin to see who would fund uh, a clinical trial, an international clinical trial uh, for severe COVID to prevent death. Now, Chilton tells me he has four meetings with global health organizations this week to discuss the possibility of a clinical trial. And while he couldn't yet go into specifics, there's no doubt that there are some very big accomplishments coming out of the U of A this fall. Lydia, I'll send it back to you.